Okay, just go into shadow. Um, so, shadow, another word for what's below Ooh, the squelch sure. line, mm -hmm. for what we've repressed, for what we put in our blind spots, for the knots we've tied up and numbed out, the shadow. And shadow is very powerful. The more you ignore it, the more power it has. <clears throat> So shadow is a fearful, alienated, unfelt parts of yourself, usually unconscious in a blind spot, becomes part of our wallpaper, becomes part of our given, projected on the world. Shadow is the never felt, unrecognizable parts of yourself that have become frozen and petrified, glaciated. So, although there's certainly middle layers of the self where things are, are loose and and flowing, but not quite uh, expressed. Okay, we talked about the death layer in yourself, that we have the role-playing layer, which is, hello, how are you, I'm a doctor, the lawyer, and then you have the chick, you know, bullshit chicken shit layer. Then you have the, uh, the death layer, which is, stuff we avoid, the phobic layer, and underneath this is, is the explosion layer. So this is all imploded stuff. Mm -hmm. So groups and organizations also have their collective shadow. Mm -hmm. So countries have shadows, societies have shadow, mm -hmm. group shadow. Uh, we completely underestimate the extreme power of our own unconscious and shadow to affect our own. So this is our own evil quote. Uh, you asked about talking about Adolf Hitler being evil. You know, uh, in the remote viewing um, courses I've been in, Hitler was you. And interestingly enough, this is done under single blind condition. People got him. But they got him that he wasn't evil. He was delusional. He loved his country. He would have done anything for his country. Uh, he thought he was doing the best for his country. He was just delusional. And he was very, very damaged. So, but you could call that evil. But, uh, as far as being like, yeah? just taking that in. OK. Can you go back to the last slide? Sure. Yeah, feel free to, this one? Yes. Okay. And again, this is my position from working with, you know, my psychotherapy clients, other life experiences. Yeah. It's really underestimated. It's not talked about in politics. It's not talked about. It's not really talked about that much, except in certain areas. And yet it influences everything. So unconscious, where's the power? This is where all the charges, and we think we are in control. Let me ask you a question, Wayne. When we're looking at that as an example, is there are there any ways to like get into the shadow to where we're being guided? And in speaking personally, a lot of times I'll be like you know, thinking I'm on a conscious level headed in a particular direction, and then it's like I'm finding myself going in a, a tremendously different direction, almost as if I knew what this shadow was or where the unconscious was leading me. I would rather have gone the, you know, I'll call it a right direction instead of like a roundabout and oh, you're ending up over here type thing. Is there any... It, it, and that feels like it's, it's been uh, good for you to follow that, the unexpected terms? No. So I'm not sure. It could be something you could trust, or it could be a way of avoidance. That the thing is to explore it, to just press the reset button. Okay, so I guess my question is, are there ways to get into the shadow stuff to help guide us to the conscious, you know, where we're consciously going? Where we want to consciously go and where we wish to consciously go. Or is it 
hey, business as usual, process with Sandy Monday through Friday, whatever, get together, process small group, you know, whatever. I'm just saying, you know, I'm just wondering if there are other, you know, something that I'm missing here yeah. that might be available. Um, that's why I would bring up the, the, what I would call the meditation. It's like, okay, what process needs to go on? that maybe I don't even have the slightest idea, so maybe I'll let oh, myself okay. be led in this way. I'm gonna trust that process. And, but if it feels like, hey, I'm avoiding, then I can ask myself, well, what am I avoiding? So, mm -hmm. close your eyes, everybody close your eyes. What are you avoiding? What do you avoid? What, what places don't you dare go? What places sort of have a force field around them that sort of keeps you out? That says, I don't want you to come here. I don't trust you. Or, I'm, the door's locked, at least right now. And that shadow. Can you hang out with your own shadow? And not judge it, not see it as a bad thing. 